Well, hello there. My name is Dora and you're watching Creative Bath Lab. What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to make a container scrub, which oddly enough, I've only ever formulated a few of these before. But I've been working on this recipe for a while now. It's quick, easy, and it creates an amazing scrub. It goes on creamy, exfoliates well, and once it's activated with water, it becomes a light, fluffy cloud that rinses off easily. You're going to love it. Always check out the description for important information like the recipe, updates, and the supply list. You only really need two ingredients, raw coconut oil and an exfoliant. I used Epsom salt, but you could use whichever one you want. All other ingredients are optional. Please note, this is a very soft recipe, meaning you don't have to follow it exactly or even close to get great results. Cream the coconut oil with a mixer or spoon. Then add liquid ingredients. The preservative is optional as the recipe doesn't contain water, but I added it because it'll be exposed to water later. The baking soda, citric acid, and SLSA adds foam and lather. Last, add the exfoliant. It's probably easier to mix it with a spoon. At this point, after everything has been mixed together, adjust the scrub depending on what you desire. I felt that it was a bit too dry and stiff, so I added a bit more coconut oil to make it more creamy. Look at that. Now that's the perfect consistency. So here's the really important part. You have to cure the scrub at least 12 hours. You can cover it, but make sure the lid is loose because pressure will build up. During this time, the scrub will expand and go back to normal. Right after the scrub is made, you'll notice that the liquid separates from the scrub and pools in some areas. But as it cures, the scrub will become one. The dry ingredients will absorb the wet ingredients. Also, please note the scrub will be a bit drier after it's cured. To make the watermelon colors, divide the batch into three. I added poppy seeds to the pink scrub to represent watermelon seeds. Plus, they feel amazing and exfoliate well. I added a lot of liquid colorant, but it was not getting pink enough. So then I added color powder and that did the trick. I made two green colors for the watermelon rind, one more of a lime green and the other one a darker green. To package the scrub, I'll be using these 8 ounce cosmetic jars. They'll also be linked in the description. You don't need any particular tip or even a tip for that matter. You can just cut a hole in the bag. But to get the green stripes, you're going to add dark green lines first, then fill in the gaps with a lighter green. Pack the layers well. To get a thicker rind, because I wanted um, the green and pink to be half and half, just layer the colors on top of each other until you're satisfied with the height.
Once again, be sure to pack the layers well. You can definitely just scoop in the pink, but I found it a lot easier and a lot less messier to pipe it in. I'm only adding green here uh, as a filler scrub because I was low on pink and I was afraid I was gonna run out. Once again, make sure that you pack everything well. Isn't that gorgeous? I think they came out so cute. Pink and green are complementary colors, so they automatically pop and look amazing together. If you mess up and make the green too high, or if you just wanna make some cool patterns, use a spoon to push down the green. Then push the pink scrub in the gaps. To use this scrub, wet your uh, skin first. Then grab a small amount and rub it on your skin. This scrub glides on easy. It feels creamy and it exfoliates perfectly. After exfoliating, activate the scrub with a bit of water, then watch a thick, foamy lather appear. This is awesome as it cleans skin, but it also makes the scrub light, fluffy, and really easy to rinse off. I've said it before and I know I'll say it again. I'm always the most proud of my scrub recipes. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm proud of every recipe that I've ever formulated. It's just that my scrubs are so amazing. All right, guys, I'll see you next time.